G'day. Welcome to the Agile Maker. My kids asked me to 3D print some masks for them to wear, so I printed these. They turned out a little small. I will print them bigger ones, but I thought I could use this as an opportunity to practice some painting and weathering. I was just going to make this a personal project, but after painting I thought this could be a good chance to make another video and build on feedback from the first. I started with the raw 3D print, and then I cleaned up the zits and stringing uh, and other imperfections using files, sandpaper, and this thing, whatever it is. You know, I don't actually know the name for it. Uh, then filler primer, wet sander, filler primer, and so on and so on and so on. I made a base from some wood off cuts uh, that I had lying around. Got some bamboo skewers and some hot glue and made that into a stand. I uh, needed somewhere to put it, so. After that I mastered up, got some antique white spray paint and spray painted the whole mask to give it sort of an antique feel. Seems quite common to have a backstory so you know where you're going with the weathering. I don't really have a solid one other than like I think this mask may have been worn by somebody and gets beaten around a bit. Um, there's some scratches, some scuffing, definitely some dirt in there falling on the ground. I'm not quite sure what to beat it up with, so let's just try some stuff and see what happens. Let's see how that went by giving it a black wash to bring out some more of the detail and the damage. Not quite sure how to do this, but a little bit of water and some black paint should do the trick. Apparently adding yellows and reds can help too. Adds to the feeling of age, I guess. Okay, the last bit of weathering I wanted to do to really give this some character was blood splatter. Um, I don't really know how best to apply it. I'm probably just gonna flick some paint on it. So I've set up this little paint booth over here to run some tests. Old Amazon box is really coming handy. Okay, so I've watered down some red acrylic and just gonna get my brush, uh, dunk it in and flick. We'll see what happens. Okay, that seems like an interesting effect. Um, maybe too much of a straight line, but I think I'll go with that for now. Okay, here goes nothing. I'm pretty happy with that. Could be a little more natural, but you know, it's something. And finally, a sealant to make sure everything stays in place. While that's drying, I'm just going to peel the masking off this piece of wood and I can sand it back and stain it ready for display.
I think that went pretty well. Anyway, thanks for watching. And always, try to make yourself and everyone around you awesome.